I will export my settings from the divicrib.com and import it to my sandbox website. So I'll start from the WordPress dashboard and I'll go to Divi and theme options. And this is the place where you can add your site logo, you can change the color palette, you have your Google API key, some social media links, some custom CSS. You can also have uh, scripts for your head and body tag and also your DV license key and some other settings, of course, the DV performance settings. So to export these settings, I'll click this icon in the upper right corner, import and export, and we can name it DV crib options. And I click export DV theme options. So now I have a JSON file uh, downloaded to my computer. So I'll close this one. And while we're at it, we can also export the theme customizer settings from the DV crib. So this place, the theme customizer is getting more and more deprecated since uh, there are new features in DV like the theme builder and you have the global presets and stuff. So you are probably not using this too much anymore. But there are a few settings here that I think is useful. For example, under general settings, site identity, you can set your favicon. And uh, in the typography tab, you can actually add a global header font and a global body font. Okay, so to export the theme customizer settings, you'll click this important export icon in the top left corner. And we can name it to customizer settings. And I'll hit export DV customizer settings. And as you can see, this is a pretty quick procedure. So now I have two JSON files saved to my computer. So I'll go to my other website where I want to import these settings and I'll head over to Divi and theme options. And as you can see, it's pretty standard in here. I don't have too much here. So I'll start by importing the theme options by clicking the same icon in the top right corner, but I'll hit the import tab instead. And now I can drag the options file and drop it. I would recommend that you download a backup before you import if you have some settings here because it could be nice to be able to roll back if you would like to do that. So I'll click download a backup and I'll import the DV theme options. And there we have my backup. It's downloaded automatically. And now we can see the imported DV theme options here. So we have the logo, we have the color palette, and here we have the social media link and also some custom CSS added. So now I can just click save changes to be sure. And uh, the next step is to import the theme customizer settings. So I'll click the theme customizer under Divi in the left hand menu. And uh, here I'll just click uh, this import export icon in the top left corner this time. And I'll go to the import tab and I'll drag and drop my customizer settings JSON file. And I'll download a backup for this as well. And we click import Divi customizer settings. And there we have my backup. So that's it. My theme customizer settings are imported and uh, you don't have to save that is made automatically. That's all for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming your way. Thank you for watching.